All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. So today we're gonna be checking out some Grand Blue. Now I feel like Grand Blue is not falling off, but not a lot of people are talking about it. I love this game. I I'm still this is probably the game I play the most at the moment. You know, it always changes, but right now this past like month or so, I've been grinding Grand Blue. I'm on Uno now. Unfortunately, I apologize for that. But we just had another Arc World Tour qualifier out in Greece. Clash of the Olympians. I always forget the name. Clash of the Olympians out there. So I'm watching Grand Finals today. I haven't seen it, but. I have I have uh, heard some rumors that it is won by a certain very manly fighting game character. Everyone's favorite naked grandpa. So I want to see that. I want to see just, just gonna punch, right? Just gonna just beat the crap out of the dude in like two seconds. But anyway, I want to check it out. So if you like Grand Blue, hit the sub button. If you don't, you should. I always have to say this, but like the coolest thing about this game is not just you know the game itself, but there's a free version. That's insane. I don't know why people aren't talking about. It. There's a completely free to play version. So watch this video. You think, oh, that looks cool. You can download a free version. But that's it. There's no strings attached. You can go on net play, training mode. You can see what it's, it's like. Who knows? It might become your favorite game. Or you might, you know, just flush it. But hey, it doesn't hurt. It's free. Anyway, let's go. Now, I, show, I showed this off in the last one, too. But I got I got to give a shout out. Before we get into it, I got to give a shout out. The cool commentator fits right here. They got the little togas on. And I don't think the Greeks wore baseball caps. But it's a different era, I guess. We don't know. All right. Grand Finals. So we got skill... Playing Siegfried against Space against Beatrix. All right, so what have I learned so far, frame one? The dudes in Europe are tier enthusiasts. They are tier enthusiasts. So Skill is the uh, the Nago player, right? He did a lot of work early on in, in Strive. I think he's still grinding, but we saw him play Siegfried as well. Siegfried... As I said, I think in the last time, one of the strongest players in Europe is a Sigri player. This character is insanely cracked. He is the... I think I called him, like, the face of power creep. Where he's just, like, Gran with everything better than Gran. He's, like, the new protag. On the other hand, we got Beatrix. So she's one of the newer characters. She is also, we've talked power creep, insanely strong. Insanely power crept. But she's more of, like... Just designed to just rush down like crazy. So it's really hard to deal with her because this game is not... This game is supposed to be... I, I know I hate this this term. I know you guys do as well. It's supposed to be a ground-based footsies, like, neutral game. Beatrix skips. She does not want to play neutral. She's got dive. She's got slide. She's got a projectile. She's got good buttons. Any she gets brings you to the corner, and then you die in two hits. So just very, very, very just offense god. And don't forget, of course, 6 6 right there. When she came out, it was such a problem. It was like 90% of the people online played her. They had to put on an emergency patch and nerf her. She's still top tier. She got nerfed. And just like her kit, her game plan in this engine, she'll never be not top tier unless they really like cut her legs off. Nice. The legs. This is something else. Ooh, this is going to hurt. I'm so angry right now. Oh, my God. Jesus. This is mid-screen, right? This is mid-screen. Not even 100 meter. I play, I'm play. i playing Uno right now. I know. I hate him, too. Like, my biggest complaint with Uno is it's anti-air. Stinks. That's I think that's like a big privilege in this game. Like some characters off anti airs, you know, Siegfried's one of them. They get so much. I played cat before. Cat anti is terrifying. Like I'm just looking at that damage. Ah! In the corner, by the way, because you can link in the super. He does he'll just like all oh, 60, 70%. Like Vane Jr. out out here. But yeah, having a strong anti air is just massive. By the way, I just what are these flags? It's France and then uh, Anti-France. They just turned to France. They they flipped it. They went in uh, paint and hit rotate 90 degrees. Netherlands. The Netherlands Grambler community is out here. Evil France. Dive on plus. Very, very brave. DP after. I, this is what I, I like this. As a fighting game player, I like this. This is two players talking to each other. My beloved. Right here. This, this is two players talking to each other, right? So DP, DP from space. Right? DP from skill. It's like, all right, get off me, bro. 
Get off me, bro. They're they're fighting, right? They're talking to you. They're fighting for just I'm being controlled this round. EX, no, my turn. EX right back. This is this is it's like if I feel like if you don't really play fighting games, you you can't really understand it. When you play, you really are talking to people sometimes. And you hate them. Like you you hate that person you're fighting. Everything they do to you is disrespectful. So you have to disrespect them back. You're fighting to be like, it's not about like, this is the smartest thing to do right now. Nice dodge. You're like, this is the smartest play. This is the optimal play. It's about right now. I'm taking the momentum. This is my round. I'm better than you. You're trash. Da, 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 da. It's really fun. Yeah, of course. Using all the BP, you get the damage penalty there. Oh my God. Beatrix looks like that? I said earlier too about this game. I really like the game. It's got a free to play version. Even if you're not, even if you randomly stumble on this video and you don't know about Grand Blue, not not the fighting game, but like the series, it could be for you. It has, if you're a gooner, I know a lot of gooners watch this channel. It has 300 plus characters in it. Beatrix right here, she's one of the most popular waifus. It's definitely one of the strongest. I think powers of this game is like there's the the IP they got to pull from is super cool. They got something for everybody. Just waiting for Siete to come out. 66L. He's cooking. Yeah, the thing too about getting I think even if you don't like just watching this of your first time, it's not a very hard game to follow along. To pick up and play is very, very simple. To try characters, my favorite thing is like the characters are all unique, but the core is kind of similar, which again, it sounds like a bad thing, but that means it's really easy to pick up, try different characters, get just hop right in and play. It's a blessing and a curse. Got him airborne so you don't get a fop on slash, and here we go. Tag in the buffer, you get the full loop into the super. Yep, the Beatrix flow chart. Bonk. This is off a 5L. This is off her fastest uh, button from that range. Just burn a BP, get a setup, get like 40, 50%. Bonk. Oof. And again, you have all everything here. He's got extra damage, but no super is not enough, right? I, never mind, I'm sorry. He had to double, even with the nerf. This is kind of the core of the game, right? So basically, Grand Blue, you don't get a lot of damage mid screen. There, of course, there's exceptions, but like you don't do damage mid screen. You bring him to the corner, then you get your damage. So high level optimal play is a lot of like two hit situations. Beatrix does it easier than anybody, right? It's all off. Oh, sorry. It was a, I thought it was a five L. No, it was a five uh, M or whatever. But just one button buffer into these specials, and most of them are safe. You are cornered. Into the super, into the safe jump. Next hit, you're dead. It's a very flow chart. I guess like flow chart is a, is a way to say there's a lot of decision making in there, but like the game plan is very, very similar for everybody. Beatrix is like, she was built around that game plan. Her corner carry is ridiculous. Damage is above average. She gets the setup. Not every character gets a setup after their super. She gets the setup and everything just to keep it going. The Beatrix flow chart is wonderful. Now, this is what I was talking about. When I talked earlier about the manliest character it was not Siegfried. It was Soros. He's down. He's down two. Picks up Soros. Let's go. Soros is a scary ass character. Yeah, bonk. So Soros is the the brawler. He is deceptive, right? So it's very deceptive. You know, you think he's like the rush down character. No, that's that's Beatrix. Soros actually has to be a little bit more reserved. But he kind of like, when he does get the hit, when he turns up, he just destroys you. Like this. Yeah. Get the setup. God damn. And now Chip, yeah, you're done. He, he can take those, yeah. Just go for Chip. Oh, yeah, he, he had to do that. Reversal Super, no. Space had to do that, though, because he was so low. Swords is probably the, the scariest Chip character in the game. Probably. I think that's a safe bet. Definitely one of them. So he was going to die to Chip very, very soon. He got buffed a lot, too, by the way. Talking about Beatrix got nerfed. So she's without a doubt a stronger character than Sora's. She got nerfed, though. Sora's got buffs. He was one of the uh, 
not weaker character. He's a solid mid-tier character, but he got really good buffs in this version, so he's even scarier. Bonk. Like that, right? Just, how do you die? Oh, never mind. He had no BP, but... It's like straight button. In the punch. This is plus, by the way. Or minus one, I forget. One is very important, but... And then you get a free combo after this now. Mid-screen. So those kicks, that up kick, got sped up. He could do he could do that combo before on like certain hits with certain like starters and stuff, but now with the speed up, it's like every time. Oh, and he's getting some. What are they drinking? Grease. They have that. What's it called? Uzu or something? Ozo or something. They have this disgusting alcohol in Greece. Do not drink it. I do not recommend it. All right, let's roll forward here, bro. They're in tournament. Get that camera out of here. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. Damn. And there, there's Beatrix. There's Beatrix again. Mid screen to the corner we go. Clock, I feel like Clock is not that scary, honestly. Boom! This punch, by the way. Armored. It doesn't need an attack. You don't see it here. But full screen. Armored. Leads into this. This move was so stupid. And it got nerfed. It got damage nerfed too. It's still that good. Nice. No way. Yeah, slow down. So normally she gets nothing off that, but when she's low health, she's powered up. So you saw that little clock. That's her her character gimmick here. Do something stupid, Soros. Come on, man. Come on, Grandpa. Come on, Grandpa. Watch out for Chip. There it is. There it is. Just punch in the kick, man. Punch in the kick. Did he get kick? He didn't get that before, did he? On regular hit? On regular hit, did he get the the H punch and the H kick? I know off counter he got some, but just get melted, right? Bump, bump. All right, with punish. Again, the flow chart. Here we go. The same combo you see every time into the super, into the safe jump, into the mix up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We've seen that every time. All right, he's naked. This is what I talked about. Everybody's favorite naked grandpa. Here he comes. So when he's in this mode, his specials get powered up. He gets a defense bonus, but it's not really a big deal because your health is so low right now. And he's got access to command grab super. But he's pretty low. This is not like X-Factor comeback. But let's see. One punch. A lot of times it's like, a lot of times it's like big act. Yeah, this, this is basically it. It's like big hype activation and then just die. It's like Kai's Dragon install and Strive, right? It's like, here we go. Oh, he's dead. When it works, it's cool, though. Guard cancel again. I like guard cancel, man. Oh, caught the back dash. He's dead, right? Next hit, you're dead. Nice check. All right, now he's going to get a BP back again. You saw this coming a billion times. Aha, uh -huh, into super. Aha, uh -huh, into jump. L, safe jump. And now skill will have a guard cancel. Nope. Goes for throw instead, yeah. That's the flow chart, right? We saw that 50 times so far. Beatrix is so good at just making it happen. Oh, they got cosplayers in Greece? I see him in the back. Who's that, a UL and uh, Grimnir? All right, so they reset here, huh? Okay. Ah, he went back to Siegfried. He went to Siegfried. All right, 0-0 zero, zero again. I feel like his swords was way scarier, man. So not only is uh, Beatrix, you know, super aggro, with, she got a command grab, too. The headbutt's command grab. Psh. And it powers her up. Bonk. So it does a bit of damage, but it gives her a power up now. To be fair, I don't think the power... Honest, I, said, I don't think the power was that, that scary a lot of times, even though it works here. Nice back dash. Your combo. Fast forward. I'm going to fast forward. There you go. See? That's the best thing about YouTube is you can just fast forward. Right up overhead. Whenever you see a combo, whenever I'm watching like replays on my own, I see a combo, I just fast forward. Or you know the round's over. It's like fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. So now we're talking. That was a weird choice, I think. Because the Sora's, obviously Sora's was doing better. In the first set, he went back to Siegfried. He's like, you should have stuck with Sora. So he, he, I think he, 
still recognize it. He's like, yeah, that uh, that that Siegfried didn't work out. Let's bring out Grandpa. Boom. I understand, though. I understand why. Like, Siegfried is such a perfect character. I play him, too. He's such a perfect character. It's like he's such a perfect character, but Soros is scary. So Soros has a lot of flaws, too, but he's a lot more intimidating, I think. So, like, in your brain, you're like, all right, let me be smart. Let me pick the stronger character. Let me pick the one that's well-rounded with everything. But sometimes you just got to, you know, just got to punch. You, you just want to punch, man. So the mental pressure of this buff hole. He's like 70, by the way. Oh, no, he might get hit in recovery. Yeah, yeah. What's hype about Soros, too? Nice, you got him. What's hype about Soros? He's actually old. Catalina, he's not on the screen right now, but Catalina's supposed to be old, right? They, they call her like, oh, you know, grandma. Oh, you auntie. She's like supposed to be like, the old. she's 24 years old. That's how anime is, right? It's like, if you're old in anime, you're like, you're like 26, 27. Soros is legit like 80. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, he must, we were looking at his, like, journal entry, like, oh, yeah, he must be, like, you know, probably, like, 35 or something. It's like, he's 82 or something. I was like, oh, damn. You go, Grandpa. All right, let's see. He might, he's got enough health. Let's see. He got 100 meters still. By the way, that super doesn't cost anything. To activate, all you need to, you need to be low health, and you need to have 100 meter, but it doesn't cost your meter. Ouch. But, again, activate into nothing. Nice. Yeah, see? Just guard cancel, right? Guard cancel immediately. Like, you do not want to be in the corner against anybody, but I feel like especially against Soros. Woof! This, this, button's, this button's cheap right here. Ready? After the punch, this one. The stanky leg is 5H. It's so active. Flail out. It just stays out there. Get off me. Another one. Late tags. Ooh. Ooh. He whiffed his grab. Just mash on DP. I've done that a million times too. I understand. Nah, no. Nah. Yep. Yep. Good. Good play from both players. So again, talking about... I love this, by the way. Oops, sorry. Let me go back here. I love... Chip damage. It's something you're seeing get removed from a lot of games. I love chip damage. I love it. So this game chip is very, very serious, very, very scary. So Space has life right here. But he knows. He knows against Soros, he's basically dead. He has to kill him before he dies to chip. See how much that did? That was just chip. That brought him down to the pixel. So he's like, I, I need to do something right now. So we reversal super. Normally, this is stupid, right? Normally you don't reversal super. It's not a good play, but when your back is to the wall like that, he's like, I have to do this. Skill, again, even one step ahead, recognizes, like, I don't want to overextend. Let me wait, dodge. That's one of those sequences that it might look like, oh, that's like silver rank gameplay, but no, it's two very, very, like, high-level players, like, thinking and understanding the situation and each other's options and everything. All because of chip. I love it. Street Fighter 6 brought back Chip a little bit. Street Fighter 5 got rid of it. I hated that, man. You have to do super to kill. Boom. Chip keeps the game moving forward. Yeah, Chip, you know, forces interaction, but it also gives you another layer. Like, Swords is a good Chip character. Some characters are really good at chipping. Some characters are not. It's just another, like, layer with everything. So, like, zoners, like, Versusia, she can't really open you up, but she can chip you out and, like, force you to take action. Her chip game is good, right? It's just another layer. It's fun. And it makes those those comebacks at the low health. They're super hyped, too. Pop, 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 pop. Oof. If he had done the ultimate skill with the army, he would have blown right through it. Dodge. He likes doing that. So the hard read, he runs up, does a button in dodge. He's trying to bait out the guard cancel. So far, it hasn't worked. He's actually gotten punished more. <laughs> he got punished by a super that one time. 
Nice whiff punish. Yeah, like look at this. This is the ground. This is the ground-based footsies we were talking about. Ready? Button whiff, immediate six XL. You can't even call six XL because they're using dash macro, but six XL will move you forward, so it makes whiff punishing even like easier. So, yeah. That upward kick from Sora is not a DP. It's just very fast. So you have to use that move as like a fake DP where it's not invincible, but you have to do it preemptively. Try his new armor buff. No, with punish. Fast forward. Are you done, done? He actually didn't do the super there, but... Uh-oh. Grandpa's down two to one. Yeah, he's locked in too. He's locked in. He's locked in too. That that I respect it. I respect it. So skill, of course, since he's down two to one, he's got to win two. If he loses, it's over. So he can't go back to secret. He he committed to the the grandpa. Good check. Try getting Q with the five H. No, I think DP would have worked there. Okay. Yeah, space spend it. God damn, that hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to. Again, again, talking about the chip and the low health. With with swords, like, if you can get your opponent down to 10% health, it's almost like you won the round. As long as you can stop, they have to do, like, one YOLO play, like, right there. Of course, space went for the run-up jump. Scale was just chilling. He's like, I know you got to do something stupid. There's the jump. And Tyre, hold that. Boom. He's, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Guard cancels down to one. Okay. Can he get one back? Yeah. Damn, she builds a lot of meter. So he gets one BP back here. I would activate it after that. Okay. Activate. Yes. Close her off. Command grab. Get him. Run up command grab. Ah, I didn't even need to. 2ABC. Yeah. That's my problem. That's my problem. Whenever I play Sorius, I have to command grab. It's like when you play Akuma, you have to demon. Even if it's not the smartest play, it's like, I got a demon. I need to demon this guy right now. With Sorius, like, I got a command grab. I have so many rounds, I just like, I run up naked and just, I get hit. It's like, damn. All right, here we go. Two to two. Let's go. Sorius, nice whiff punish. Bro, his, his Sorius is so much better than the Siegfried. What's he doing? Just stick with stick with Soros. Chip. Damn. 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 Ah, uh, he dropped it, but he's still in a good spot. Never mind. Now he's in a bad spot. Bonk. Command grab. Damn. She put herself too. She put herself the command grab because it does damage to her because she does the headbutt. Put herself into a uh, critical health, but now you're done. Yeah. Again, is that chip? Right. He's so low now. It's like space has to pressure. He has to go in. He he must go in. He knows that too. He's like, ah, oh, shit. All right, I gotta go in. He's like, all right, press a button. I know. He ran into it. He tried six six L again. Oh man, these guys are locked in. Look at that. They are locked in. Look at them. I got to get in the gamer stance, too. They are both locked in. They're like the CSGO players with their their faces in the monitor. Eef. God damn. Uh, uh. It's momentum round. He's I think Sword's definitely one of the scariest guys with momentum. Because his stuff is so fast. Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh, all right, it's going to hurt. Not quite at the corner. Didn't get the full combo yet. Late tech. 100 meter each. My turn still. Guard cancel out. Oh, yeah, guard cancel. That's scary. That was the first time he used that. Okay, and there's that new... God damn, that's so good. You just die instantly, right? <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, space. That sucks. That was a godlike camera change, though. 
The no, I like how there's a, the no zoom, just instant cut to the face palm. That hurts, though. That hurts. That hurts. He was up. He got sorest. He got sorest. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That was good, though. And there, there's the sorest smile. There's the sorest smile. Grandpa's so cool. Look how fast you just die, though. Ready? Look at Zen. Ready? Look at your health. He's a health and just gone. I love that. There's no combo. There's no, like, 18 hits. It's just bop, 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 dead. Grandpa's, grandpa's home. Congrats to, to Skill. Bringing out the swords. That was good. That character's really good. That character's really good. He's not top tier. Don't get it wrong. He's got a lot of weaknesses. As I mentioned, he's not really a rushdown character. He's a deceptive rushdown character. You, at low level, you just dominate, right? You just punch, rushdown God. But at high level, his game plan is so one-dimensional, it's really easy to stop him. So you actually, in turn, have to play him more reserved. You have to pick your points. You have to whiff punish. You have to, like, choose your interrupts. And then once you can get started, then you can maul. But it's like being able to get that that first hit and, and get started. And then, of course, it got guard cancel out. is difficult. So he's he's hard. I play a lot of characters in the game. He's definitely... He's not technical. Like, you have to learn a lot of stuff. It just controlling his neutral is, is a way more tricky than it seems right there. Compared to Beatrix, who just goes ham. Anyway, congrats, Skill. And... Space did well. You know, I I don't wanna I don't wanna like rub salt in the wounds. It looked like he really cared, you know, at the end there. But hopefully he'll he'll get some more chances. I know the Arc World Tour expanded its spaces this year. So hopefully we could see him at LCQ or maybe even qualify. I don't know. Anyway, they announced like the venue and the date and everything. I won't be there. Even though I've been uh covering and commentating Arxis games for, you know, 10 plus years now. I've never been to a finals, but uh enjoy your usual crew of commentators. I will be watching from home and on this YouTube channel. So hit that sub button. I'll give you the update two weeks later when we check out the replays. But I don't know who's going to win. Japan is Japan's the underdog right now. Europe looks pretty good too, but I think America's America's king right now. We'll see. Looking forward to those finals. Anyway, if you're still watching, thank you. It's a long one, but like I said, I like this game a lot. I think it's very fun. One last shill. If you haven't tried it yet, the free to play version is free. It's right there in the name. It's on PC, PlayStation, rotation of four characters. Just it's really easy to pick up. So give it a shot. Anyway, I'll see you next one. Peace.